Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I'm the Humble Gamer. I'm online with Nas Dragon Heart the Five Blades. They are playing uh, different games. Uh, Five Blades, are you still on Minecraft? Yeah. Nas, what are you doing at the moment? Still playing Rocket League. Still playing Rocket League, and I am on Robot Wars. Now, first video we did, I lost the Robot Wars uh, final, so I'm going to try and do that again. Back into professional mode. Unchanged Robot, Humble Bot 30. Going straight into the Robot Wars English Championship. Here we go, a 73 kilogram robot. I'm against Granite Grinder and Cutthroat in the first round. Any thoughts on Granite Grinder and Cutthroat? No. Fair enough. Granite Grinder is um, a... Ironically enough, it's a... Uh, Sorry, my, my lungs hurt a little bit, so <laughs> I might not be talking too much. Um, she was a previous episodes of the Humble Bone. The Humble Gamers um, yes. Robot Wars may understand why that might be. Yes, if you w go back and watch episode one while they do the thing with the uh, Ooh, with fuck. the arena. If you go back and watch episode one, you'll understand why Naz's lungs hurt. Because these have all recorded in one <laughs> session. And um, Oh my god. Naz, I don't, Naz I still had a don't bit understand. of trouble understanding a concept. I have so much trouble understanding. <laughs> um, and you will too. Yes, you will do you too. You go to www.whatisboring.com Yes, whatisboring.com oh, that, that will answer all your questions. <laughs> oh so, my God. Granite Grinder is the one on the right of the screen. He is the um, armoured... Um, oh, it's, what did they call that plastic material? The see-through plastic material? Fiberglass. Plastic. Oh, well, uh, Cutthroat. Carbon. Cutthroat's gone. Cutthroat's gone in one flip. I've got him out. And that's just me and Granite Grinder. Cutthroat flipped over at the hands of my wedge. And now it's two wedged robots against each other. And my handling is still a bit of an issue here. I'm just going to spin on the spot and attack him with my spikes. Oh, um... Polycarbonate! That's the one. Oh, and yes. he's been flipped, but his go. axe might do some... Yeah, his axe did a self-writing thing for him. I flipped him again. He's stuck on my wedge. He can't self-right from there. I've won the first round. So I'm going to put my teddy bear over the flame pit. Oh, no, I don't have time. I qualified. Job done. <laughs> Through the first round. So it'll be me against Granite Grinder in the second round. Um, Granite Grinder was apparently still mobile, although he really wasn't. I was still mobile, and... Uh, Why have you got to face him again? Uh, because there's... It's a, it's a round of three. Then you play a round of two against... The, uh, get the winners of the round of three go through to round of two. <coughs> the first one is like an oh. eliminator round. It's... You have to see it on the screen. I've... It does make sense. Watch the footage and it all makes sense. I, I, I remember... Oh, I don't remember the format of Rebel It's Wars not the same so. format. It's not the same format. Um, basically, to get it done, what they do is that there's 24 competitors. They do eight matches of three. You knock one robot out from that. The two remaining robots go on to face each other in a, in the round of uh, 16, which then gets you into eights, fours, twos. Your winner. So I've repaired the robot. We're going straight back into the second round against Granite Grinder. I'll be facing either Morticon or Salvage in the quarterfinals. Should Humblebot 30 get through? I mean, it's a good chance with a name like Humblebot 30. I think Humblebot 30 I mean, that, should get... That, that's, that's a strong name. It is a strong name. It's a very strong name. So here we go. The second round of eight I've ever done in the Robot Wars Championship on this playthrough. Oh, shit. I've scored myself. Right underneath Granite Grinder there. He's coming in with his pneumatic axe. Oh, almost flipped it with my rear spikes. I've damaged the polycarbonate. He's put me on the arena flipper. I'm not going to stay there, though. I might push him towards Sergeant Bash if I can. You should have done my own goal, you prick. <laughs> He's now going to attack me with the saw, which my salvage steel uh, armor should be good against. I'm still feeling lightheaded. I might have to go and eat something after this video, I think. <laughs> going to push I'll him towards Sir Killalot. I'm going to have a cup of tea in a minute. Have your tea? I'm a cup of tea. Oh, a cup of tea. I was just saying, like, Naz, it's 11 o'clock at night. No, oh, Granite to Grinder is in the clutches of Sir Killalot now. He's escaped somehow. I think Killalot showing blatant favouritism there. My rear spikes have been removed again. They're shit. I might actually take them off the robot. Pushing him towards oh, Killalot again. Killalot's got shit. him. Do some damage to his chassis. I'm going to attack Killalot from the rear. 
what she said. Thank you, Naz. Okay. I would say that Granite Grinder's chassis has been destroyed. He's in the corner with Sir Killalot. I've got Sir Killalot pinned against the side of the re of the arena. Oh, Granite Grinder's not dead. Okay, I need to focus not on uh, not on Sir Killalot then. Maybe pushing Granite Grinder into Sir Killalot. He's coming out with the axe again. The pit's probably opened up by now, I'd say. The pit has not opened up yet. Must be getting close to pit opening time, though. Pushing hard. The pit is open. Which means I've got to be fucking careful because I can't control my robot particularly well. Pushing Granite Grinder towards the pit. He's teetering on the edge. Oh, he's escaped. He's escaped. I'm sure this is really riveting for you guys to listen to. <laughs> wow. Pushing him I'm towards the pit again. Shot I'm my out. Oh, Granite Grinder's chassis has been destroyed. He's out. So I'm through to the quarterfinals. So that's another battle be battle defeated in Robot Wars. I'm now spinning. My motor is spinning without me touching any controls. Look, I'm not. E I'm not even touching the controller, and I am moving. My control. My drive system is fucked. But there we go. I've qualified. Uh, took me two minutes and four seconds to beat Granite Grinder. So there we are. I want to really win this one this time. So I don't want to do another fucking video. Where I have to place the Robot Wars challenge. Yeah. I want to get to the North Sea oil rig and push people into the sea. <laughs> Coming up in later Humble episodes. Here we go. Humblebot 30 versus Salvage. Salvage coming straight in with the axe, but Humblebot 30 pushes it straight into Matilda's CPZ. Nearly gets caught up in Matilda himself there. And Salvage is out, unless he self writes himself. But his, sp his flipper is pulling him in towards Matilda, who's got him with the chainsaw. I'm into the semi finals, I'm fairly sure this is a, this is a done deal now. So I shall just spin in the centre of the arena. In fact, no, I might take on Matilda. Come here, Matilda. Oh, God, she's got a flipper at the front. I forgot about that. <laughs> Come on, Matilda. Let's go waltzing, Matilda. Well, um, my opponent's out. Matilda's going to be flipped, is she? No, she manages to escape that. The house bots are ridiculously OP on this game, by the way. Mm. Aren't they quite OP anyway? Well, yes, but I mean, they're, they're ridiculously OP on this game. So Killalot can move at speeds that he could only fucking dream of in real life. Either way, I've qualified for the semi-finals of Robot Wars again, so I would have been a seed in this one, surely. Um, for those of you die-hard Robot Wars fans, when I get further into the series, I can actually start unlocking real Robot Wars robots. Epic save! Beautiful. Nicely done, Naz. Well done on your football game. How is your football game going? It's, it's going well. Um, a little bit of obviously distraction early on. Well, yes, <laughs> yes, understandable. Certain things. Yes, but uh, yeah, it's going well. Good, good. Into the semi-finals, where Humblebot 30 will face Sparko and Body Splash will face Koopatron. The winners, of course, meeting each other in the final of Robot Wars. Oh, it's a flat robot with no wedge. <coughs> this is my battle. Although he has got quite a nasty looking chainsaw on the front of him, does Sparko, so this could be fun for my armour. But in we go. Straight in. Oh no, the chainsaw stopped me getting underneath him. I'm going to have to think about this one. The spikes have come off again. They're definitely going to be taken off in the next incarnation, I think. Oh, I've got round the back of him, but I couldn't, oh, I couldn't take advantage. I'm using all the, all the phrases that Jonathan Pierce used in the TV series. <laughs> <laughs> Push him into Matilda's CPZ and he's flipped over. That's the battle done. I'll just push him towards uh, uh, Shunt. Let Shunt have some fun with him. And watch his polycarbonate armor get utterly destroyed. That axe, the diamond tipped axe of Shunt going straight into his chassis. I'm in the final and I will win it this time. That's a promise to you, gamers. That's a promise to Russ and to Naz as well, the Fireblades. The teddy bears come off, my spikes have come off, but the Christmas lights are intact. Along with the Van de Graaff balls and the standard lamp. Oh shit! Oh, Naz is losing in his game. No, it's five minutes up, I hit the post. Oh, it's not really an old shit moment unless you are losing and it's the last minute. Oh, we've got three minutes to go. Oh, there you are. Well, I've qualified 
for the Robot Wars final for the second time in two tournaments. 46 seconds that one took me. I'm getting very good at this. <laughs> yes. And I've only built one robot, it hasn't been changed since the first go. So, straight into the final, repairs done with 13 minutes to spare. Humblebot 30 versus Koopatron, a robot I faced in the first round of my first try. Koopatron is a wedged robot with a pneumatic axe, bull horns, tracked robot, and a pussycat style steel blade on the back. Could do me some damage. Hoping. You should make a robot that is a giant gaping mouth. Uh, I think you can do Who something very floor? similar to that, actually. And he's over! He's flipped! I probably won the Robot Wars Championship now. He's trying to write it with his pneumatic axe. It's not going to happen. So in celebration of having run the Robot Wars Championship, once he's dead, I'm going to sit myself on the arena flipper and send myself flying through the air. I've probably got enough time to do that now. He's not going to write himself. So I shall sit myself on the arena flipper. Killer lots come in for the kill. Sitting on the flipper. And to celebrate, I'm going to throw myself across the arena floor. The angle poise lamp somehow survived that. But I have won the Robot Wars Championship, ladies and gentlemen. It's happened. It has totally happened. I've won the Robot Wars Championship, so you shall see me in the oil rig in the next video. So, we shall see the trophy. Robot unlocked. I can't remember which robot that is. I don't think it's a main robot, but there's the Robot Wars Championship. Watch your fingers, it's sharp. Thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments. Uh, do subscribe to Naz Dragonheart and to the Fireblades as well. Um, now I've got to think of a rhyme for this fucking episode. Um, I'll just nick one from the TV series since I've won. We don't like losers and we don't like score draws. We play for champions on Robot Wars. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Alright. I come through systems, peoples, and cities to this place. Main brain. My fall up garden. Men of defense. Men my new bound brain. Men of the Some say the user input game. Oh, no one knows for sure. I am not the fucking stick! <laughs> <laughs> I am Bob the Guardian! Well, I'm probably the Guardian. Bob the Guardian! Man, he did shit!